What's going on people? This is Jagos and I wanted to sit here and I just wanted to rant for a little bit about some of the things that have been going on with Gamergate. I'm probably not going to be going over it because the fact of the matter is there's so much to go through in four weeks and I'm not going to update. I'm just going to sit here and give you all something to watch down in the underbar, uh, read at your own time. So that way you don't have to go through the internet aristocrat videos if you don't want to, but you know where they are. Uh, the fact of the matter is, I've been kind of quiet because I've been doing a lot of research recently. Um, it's something that's related to Gamergate, as well as I've been working on a new blog to sit here and have a place that people can start going. And at the very least, I want to update it once some, a week, so that way conversations can happen uh, my older blog is still going to be up at the top I am going to sit here and have a new one um, that new one is going to sit here and reflect my own little personality I'm trying to do more economic stuff I still have more annual reports for you guys um, I was looking into Nintendo Nintendo's annual report is a little bit difficult because the fact of the matter is with their annual report they kind of have it all over the place. So the next one is actually going to be Squaresoft. Um, I was looking through theirs just a quick browse and oh my gosh, they really do have a lot of problems with um, their internal workings. Um, besides that, um, another thing that has come up is why am I a part of Gamergate? Gamergate is pretty important to me because I don't I hate censorship with a passion I hate this idea that anybody can come in and tell me what to do and what to talk about because of the fact that somebody has breasts let's understand what's going on here this is about censorship of a topic that if the genders were reversed we wouldn't be able to we would be able to talk about it as freely as we want but just because someone's gender wants to play into this, I don't find that a very valid reason to sit here and cover up so many actions that were reprehensible. The fact of the matter is, the fine young capitalists were essentially doxxed and put on a blacklist. And it was despicable. The fact is, we saw a lot of crony cronyism going on and a lot of nepotism going on to the point that a lot of things that should have been reported to the public were silenced. EA having 40,000 people's accounts hacked and then not being able to cover that up, that's a problem. Seeing as one side is getting doxxed and then another side is sitting here laughing about it that's a problem I see a lot of things that are going wrong for no other reason than someone has an opposing opinion and that to me is more despicable than anything that is going on inside Gamergate maybe I'm too close but I look I observe and I've seen attacks on other feminists when people sit here and say well Anita Sarkeesian is essentially untouchable but when another feminist comes in and opposes her opinion those very same people go to attack that feminist that's despicable behavior that is hypocrisy that's some of the things that you observe as you look at this name this hashtag which has become the consternation of so many people and we're going into a six month or a seventh week six week or a seventh week where people are starting to get tired of it they're starting to sit here and you know have a slow week now but the fact of the matter is this online battle and debate with Gama Sutra, Kotaku, Polygon, Rock Paper Shotgun this shouldn't have happened this happened a long time ago when they shut down the Mass Effect 3 even though those people would not shut up about it when they didn't shut up about it the fact of the matter is that actually sat here and essentially put us on this course that we we know now 
a lot of journalists look very, very poorly because of the reporting of Breitbart, because of the report, the citizen journalists that had to sit here and investigate all of this because they had to sit here and defend themselves. I mean, 4chan, for all intents and purposes, was going to be blamed for Emma Watson. And what happened? We find out that it's a marketing company like Rantic that pulled the Nita Sar a Sarkeesian. We find out that a whole bunch of people are sitting down to essentially give 4chan, smear 4chan, and make it a safe space for feminism. Which is fine, I guess, but why did that have to be? Why did so many people have to lose their community and move over to another site when 4chan could have been great for a lot of people instead of what it was vilified to be? And the list goes on and on, but the reason that I fight as somebody in this Gamergate movement is because to me it is just sad that so many people have to sit here and be unwilling to listen unwilling to discuss because they have no argument in the first place they want to sit here they want to shut down anybody that opposes them they don't want to listen they don't want to reason they don't want to think they just want to sit here and feel like victims and that's truly sad plenty of people are having a discussion not your shield just had a great one it was about ethnicity but you know what before that he had women coming on talking about their experiences and how video games saved their life who's done that in polygon in anywhere else I mean, Niche Gamer, at the very least, talks and communicates to his public. Games Nosh, I haven't found a reason to sit here and dislike them. Um, us gamers, they sit here and they put out great articles. The point is, there are a lot of good sites that really do need a lot more people. And I'm going to be sitting down and sharing with those places instead of sitting here and focusing so much on these other places that essentially have destroyed any credibility and any trust that they had. The Mass Effect 3 debacle, that started this entire thing. But as we've come to find out, it wasn't the end of it. The catalyst was essentially Zoe Quinn, but there was a lot more to this story and a lot more needs to be researched on it. But that's all I've got to say for now. I've got other research to do and I'm probably going to be playing a little bit of Warframe. So I'll see you all later and take care.